Now it's been just about three months now since Bama reached the third phase and final stage of its casino tower, putting it 100 feet above grade. And by doing so, it would fulfill the government's requirements for a $45 million payout to the resort, who made the advance payments for the new rerouted West Bay Street and Corridor 7. While Prime Minister Perry Christie confirmed today that Bama has fulfilled its side of the bargain and requested payment, he says there's still a delay. I really hope that we have begun to make the payments. There has been a discussion over whether or not we are obliged to pay what they have requested because there have been arguments on the, on the part of our engineering consultants that we don't have to meet that full amount. Now, the Prime Minister said that the agreement does provide for a certain amount to be spent, but it has to sort of be certified on the basis that it was actually spent. We do recognize the obligation to pay. Um, authorization has been given by the Ministry of Finance to pay, and so it's a question now of whether or not full payment has been made. Palmar's Senior Vice President of Administrative and External Affairs, Robert Sandy Sands, confirmed to our news team that Balmar has not received any payment as yet. However, he added that executives are continuing to work with the government.